In this video, we will be covering everything you need to know about REST APIs and how to work with them effectively. Before we dive into consuming REST APIs, let's quickly grasp what they are. REST stands for Representational State Transfer, a set of architectural principles for building web services. REST APIs are the most common APIs used across the web today, and they use standard HTTP methods such as get, post, put, and delete to perform operations on resources. They also provide simple, uniform interfaces because they can be used to make data, content, algorithms, media, and other digital resources available through web URLs. Be sure to read this blog to learn more. In this video, we'll use the API 101 Customers API, which provides mock data for practice purposes to learn more about how to work with these four types of methods. Let's dive right in. Now, to get started with REST APIs, let's start with the most common operation, the GET request. This is used to retrieve data from a server. In this example, we'll be using the API slash customers endpoint and the get method to get all of the customers we have available in our database. When we click send, we can see all of the data of the customers and their IDs in our request body. The status 200 means that our data was retrieved successfully. Oftentimes, we need to filter or sort data when making requests. To filter by one customer, we can use query parameters to allow us to do just that. In this example, we can get data for a single customer based on their customer ID. These parameters can be added to the URL endpoint to modify the GET request and receive specific data. Here we see some data for a single customer with the ID 1. Let's now take a look at POST. The POST request is used to create new resources on the server. In this case, we want to add a new customer to our data, and we can do that by using the POST request to create a new customer using the slash customers endpoint. In the request body of this request, we can see that we are creating a customer of a random full name using Postman's random data built-in library and type. When we click send, you can see a response code of 201, which means that the new customer was successfully added to the database. If we want to modify and update existing data we have created, we can use the put request to replace an entire resource. In this case, we need to figure out what data we want to update. To do that, let's take a look back at the get all customers request to find the resource we've created and then use its ID as a path variable to update the resource. Here we want to use the customer ID for customer four and let's update that with a new name for the customer by adding the ID as a path parameter for our put request. We can then update the random name and we should see that the resource is updated when we search for all customers. The final request is the delete request, which removes the resource from the server. In this case, we can use the customer ID as the parameter to delete the data. When we search for all of the customers available, you can now see that the data has been deleted from the server. Congratulations, you just completed this how to consume REST APIs guide. By now, you should feel confident in making get, post, put, and delete requests. Be sure to check out Postman's public REST API workspace to learn more about all of the public REST APIs you can now play around with. Thank you. Hope to see you again.